Okay, in this video, I'm going to explain to you what the Holy Spirit is showing me about the throne room of God. So we're going to go to Revelation 1, verse 12. And I, this is John speaking, turned to see the voice that spoke with me. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. Verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. So, what we're doing here is we have, this is the center where the throne is. Okay, I'm going to zoom in a bit. And we have seven, these um, blue numbers and dots represent the seven candlesticks. So in a circle, we we'll divide that, it's about 51.4 degrees for each one. So center is the throne, these are the seven candlesticks. Now we're gonna go to Revelation 4, verse two. Now in the meantime, you know, in Revelation, we talked about the seven churches. So these seven candlesticks represent the seven churches, which are in the book of Revelation. That's critical because we're talking about end times. So now Revelation 4 verse 2, it says, And immediately I was in the spirit, and behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one set on the throne. This is what we talked about. Writing here is where the Lord is, Yah and Yeshua. In the middle now we go to 4 4 revelation 4 4 and round about the throne were four and twenty seats and upon the seats i saw i saw four and twenty elders sitting clothed in white raiment so now we are looking at the 24 elders sitting around but now we have to count it just like you would in a clock with the 12 up here, 3, 6, and 9, and then you divide it into 12. The circle will be 1 and 2, just like the hours of the day, 4, 5, etc. So when you start counting back, you start with a 13 here, which is between 12 and 1, and then 14, 15, 16, etc. And that, that's how you divide the circle into 24. Okay, so that's very important. Now we go to Revelation 4, 6. It says, and before the throne there was a sea of glass like unto crystal in the midst of the throne, and round about the throne were four beasts full of eyes before and behind. So it's round about the throne, and so they're going to be in these four positions beast one, two, three, and four, also representing the four seasons, just like the main 12 points represent the 12 months. And 24 obviously represents the 24 hours in the day. The circle is 360, which means 360 days, not 365, as in the Gregorian. So you understand that this is a calendar represented by the throne room. Why is that important? Because the seven churches, which you can see here, okay, here's the seven churches, divide the circle in a number that is not matching you can see the black lines not doesn't match when i when i transfer it over to the circle exterior circle does not match any of these numbers see the four is next to five the three is before the 16 the two and the 14 etc what does it mean that by the time the seven churches are completed in this calendar where is number seven landing right there that's between 10 and 23 Okay, and it's between 22 and 23 before we turn over to start the cycle again. Why is that important? Does the number 22 tell you anything? 2022. Does the number 23 tell you anything? 2023. Does the number 10 tell you anything? I am not telling you what it is. I don't know what it is. I know the Holy Spirit is pointing this to me that as long as we're Closer into 23, between 22 and 23, the seventh church has been called out. 
Now, go and look at my other videos on the timeline where I've been talking about the very likely possibility of the rapture and start the tribul tribulation occurring between 22 and 23. Now, we just turned in the Jewish calendar, this number seven is critical. And if you look at one month we're in, you understand what I'm saying. So I'm giving you a little bit of homework to do, but the main homework to do is prayer. You're going to pray about this and try to ask the Lord for confirmation and revelation and insight. And then I'm going to come back to this video and post in the comment what the Lord told you, not what you think, because the time is at hand. And this is the clear confirmation. Seventh church, seventh month, between 22 and 23, between 10th and 23. Could that be that this is how we know is at the doors? May the Lord be with you. Pray. Come back with your comments and what the Holy Spirit told you. God bless you.